Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to Raspberry Pi video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about installation of our operating system in Raspberry Pi. So before installing our Raspberry Pi, we need to have the following available with us so that we can perform installation without any problem. The first and foremost thing is the memory card. So without memory card, we can't hold any of our softwares that we are about to install in our Raspberry Pi. So first thing is the memory card. So I'm going to use my 32 GB of memory card. So you can use any size of memory card, but the minimum requirement is 8 GB. So make sure you have a memory card with at least 8 GB of size. So the first thing is the memory card. Then we need to download the Raspbian operating system or Ubuntu Mate 16.04 operating system, whichever you want. So I'm going to download the Ubuntu Mate 16.04 operating system for this video series. And then we also need to download Noobs, which is an additional operating system management provided by Raspberry Pi. So you can download this. This is completely optional. So we are not going to use this Noobs for this video series at least. And then we need to have a HDMI cable so that you can take the output of your Raspberry Pi and plug it into your monitor or TV. So make sure you also have a monitor or TV with you so that you can output the Raspberry Pi's display into them. And then we also need to have a keyboard and mouse, so make sure you also have both of them. And internet is optional if you want to download some of the updated packages from internet, so make sure that you have the internet as well. So these are the installation requirements for you to get started with the installation of Raspberry Pi operating system into Raspberry Pi. And then we also need to have our SD card prepared before installing the Raspbian OS or the Ubuntu OS. So we are going to format our memory card, which is kind of understandable by your Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to use Win32 Disk Imager software, which can perform this thing for me. So let's quickly jump into our browser and quickly download the operating systems which is required for us and also prepare our SD card. So this is the Raspberry Pi website and you can see that we actually have uh, a, a lot of options here but we are interested into these download options. So let's quickly jump into this download options and you can see there are two things, Noobs as well as the Raspbian. So what is this Noobs? Again, Noobs is the out of the box software, which is very easy for beginners if you want to install the operating system straight away. So if you download this Noobs, you will actually have a Raspbian operating system within itself. So you don't really have to hunt anywhere to download this Raspbian and install it it will actually provide the Raspbian operating system within this particular software itself. So you can download it via Turand or you can download it via zip file, but I am not going to do this. Or you can also download this Raspbian operating system, which is again a Debian based operating system. And you can just install this straight away as we are going to do for the Ubuntu operating system right now. So I have already downloaded these two for our future videos, make sure that you also have them so that in our future videos, we'll also install th these two operating system in our Raspberry Pi. Cool. So the next thing is our Ubuntu. So this is the Ubuntu Mate website, which actually has the Ubuntu for Raspberry Pi 2 and 3. So this is the 16.04 version and it actually has a very, very cool features like it has the browser Firefox, which is very much useful for our uh, execution of automation testings. And it also has a lot of different stuff which actually Debian's or Raspbian operating system does not contain. So make sure you also have a, a memory card which is of class six or class 10, uh, which is recommended by this uh, Ubuntu Mate operating system. Cool. So I'm gonna download this uh, Ubuntu Mate from a torrent. So I have already downloaded this and it is ready for me to install. And then I'm going to install the Win32 Disk Imager. So the Win32 Disk Imager, as I already said, you can just Bing it or Google it. There we go. And you can directly download this uh, Win32 Disk Imager into your machine. I have already downloaded this and so I don't really require them. So I'm just going to close these tabs. So let me open the Win32 Disk Imager. So this is the Win32 Disk Imager I got. And you can see that the device currently is empty. The reason is because there is no memory card available in my memory card slot. So once I inject my memory card, you can see that it will automatically detect the memory card for me. And there are some data, which is nothing but my older operating system in my memory card. So I need to format them. 
So what I'm going to do, I can make use of our Win32 Disk Imager for doing that. And next thing is we need to install our Ubuntu that we downloaded from the torrent website of the Ubuntu's official uh, torrent website. So I'm going to write that as well. So what I'm going to do, I need to select the Ubuntu, which is actually available in my E colon of Ubuntu. There we go. So I'm just going to copy this path. Let's quickly open this and select this Ubuntu. There we go. And then there are two options, read and write. Now I'm going to click this uh, write button. So let me click this write and it's going to say whether do you want to uh, format this device because there is already some data. It's going to corrupt the physical device. So I don't have any problem with that. So I'm just going to hit yes, which means it is going to write all the data into my memory card. So this will take some time. So I'll be back once it is done. All right. So the write successfully done. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to hit exit. And now if I see my memory card, you can see that it has copied some of the data right from the image file that we had given. You can see it has a kernel image and there are some files which is required for booting up your Ubuntu operating system. So now let's flip to the monitor, which is nothing but my TV and then start installing our operating system in there. All right, guys. So now I have flipped to my TV. So I have configured my Raspberry Pi with the mouse keyboard my television and I have also configured the power adapter with the Raspberry Pi. So I have everything set up right now. All I have to do is start running the installation process. So for that, I'm going to switch my Raspberry Pi on. So here is the Ubuntu logo. The video is actually not much clearer because you can see that the logo is not even been very clear because I'm just using a phone camera to record this video. Maybe next time I can have a better video recording softwares or hardwares. All right. So it is asking me for the language right now, but in camera, it is pretty bad. You cannot even see anything. All right. I think now it is little. Okay. I'm just going to select this uh, language as English and I'm going to hit continue. And it is asking me to uh, select the Wi-Fi. For now, I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to hit continue. So the place it is asking me where I'm living right now. So I'm just going to choose to my current location. So it is asking me whether I want to use this uh, default keyboard. So I'm going to say yes and hit continue. So it's asking me to enter my name. So I'm just going to choose the name as KK and I'm going to give a very small password. It's going to complain me for short password, but it's still OK. I'm going to hit continue. There we go. That's it. So this is what is the installation process. And you can see that it is fairly very, very simple. And now I'll be back after the installation is fully done. All right. So the installation is over and I came up to the login and you can see that the user right now is KK and this is the same user that we used while installing. So I'm just going to type in the password here. And it's going to take me to the desktop of Ubuntu Mate. There we go. Now we are into our desktop of Ubuntu Mate and it is showing us a welcome screen. As you can see here, the welcome screen is showing us that uh, there are some options like introduction features, getting started, softwares and all those options. And it will also show you the Raspberry Pi informations. So let's quickly go to the Raspberry Pi information and see how it looks like. There we go. It shows that there is some information like the resizing of the file systems. So the original image size is 3.9 GB. So it's asking me to resize it now. So if I do a resize now, it will just resize it once the machine is rebooted. So if I go back, here is the softwares that you can install in the Raspberry Pi other than the apt-get. So if I click this softwares, you can see that there are different options for installing different softwares into a machine. But currently, as you can see that uh, I have not connected to the internet and that's the reason there is nothing coming up here. Let me quickly connect to the Wi-Fi network. It's asking me to enter the password. All right, so there we go. I think we got connected to the network right now. Yep. And now if I go to the softwares, you can see that it will show you the options of different softwares available. There we go. 
and I can go to the fixes and I can see what the fixes available what are the different softwares available all those different stuff so now I have to actually run the software update once the installation is done so if I click this software update it will show it will tell you that you need to run some of the software updater so I can run the software update and then you can also do this via the command line so it's currently it is running the software update for you as you can see so the same thing you can do actually from your command prompt if you go to the raspi information you can see that right now the resizing of the file system is done and then for the kernel update you need to run this command sudo rpi update so if you do this this will also do exactly the same stuff that is happening right now in the software update right so once the update is done we'll be right back